Give me a meow. Oh, that is what I needed to start my day. Sometimes the first thing you should do in the morning is treat yourself. And what better way to do that than to make yourself some sexy, fluffy, vegan waffles. You want to start by adding a cup and a half of plant-based milk into a bowl. I use this coconut milk that I really wanted to try out, but any plant-based milk will do. Once you've added your milk to a bowl, you will then add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to the mixture, as well as half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then combine the mixture together to create your vegan buttermilk and set it to the side. In a larger bowl, sift two cups of flour. The sifting really helps to make the waffles fluffy. Then add one tablespoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. Combine those ingredients together and then add a quarter cup of melted coconut oil. Make sure it's melted otherwise it won't mix very well. One tablespoon of brown sugar and the buttermilk mixture you set to the side. Gently mix everything together until the batter is just combined. It's completely okay if you have some lumps and bumps. Turn on your waffle maker. Now this one is new to me and doesn't seem to have any settings on it so I had to be very careful not to burn them. Put some oil onto a tissue and you will want to coat both sides of the waffle maker in oil to avoid the outside of the waffle sticking to the maker and basically ripping the waffle in half when you open it. Grab a ladle and pour some mixture into both waffle holes. Then close the lid and you will begin to see steam coming out of the waffle maker. This is completely normal. Don't freak out if you've never used a waffle maker. You just need to wait for the steam to almost vanish and that'll signal that the waffles are pretty much ready. I did keep checking on them though by very carefully opening the lid slightly to make sure they didn't burn. I 100% burnt the first one though. Huge fail. But sometimes in life, you gotta fail to learn how to make it better. After they have cooked to how you like them, you can use a fork and a knife to carefully remove them from the waffle maker. Set them onto a plate and then time to add your fave toppings. The best part. I went for some vegan chocolate spread as that's my all time fave thing on pancakes or waffles. Then I did some peanut butter on the other waffle. Oh my god, I'm just drooling looking at this. Wow. Lastly, I warmed up some frozen berries in a pan and poured them on top of the waffle. And there you go. Super easy and yummy vegan waffles. Now go make them, cause I know you want to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's pretty good. I struggle a little bit with making them because I'm not used to this machine, but they actually turned out very nice. Find yourself a good vegan chocolate spread and it's an absolute game changer. Fresh berries would be ideal, but hard to find good ones here and they're overpriced. So I do like to go for frozen ones in that case. Like she's cute though. Fun fact, I lived in Belgium for a very long time and obviously capital of waffle land. And I never really liked waffles. I don't know why, but recently, it's been a thing. Mmm. I made zucchini and corn fritters that turned out so, so yummy. And again, very simple to make. You wanna start off with grating two medium-sized zucchinis and then grab a fresh, clean dishcloth and put all of the grated zucchini into it. Add a pinch of salt and set it aside for 10 minutes. In the meantime, you can grab a smaller bowl and add one tablespoon of chia seeds with three tablespoons of water. Mix those together well and then set them aside to thicken for around five minutes. This is basically to make an egg out of chia. Then you will want to grab a bigger bowl and mix all of the dry ingredients together. That consists of one cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. After you've mixed those together, you want to then add that chia egg we made and also a half a cup of plant-based milk, one tablespoon of olive oil, and then mix everything together again. Then into a bowl, you'll want to squeeze the zucchini as much as you can to get rid of all of its water. Try to get rid of as much as you can. Keep squeezing. I know it's hard, but like you gotta really get that water 
water out. Finally, add that grated zucchini to the mixture along with some corn, one chopped chili pepper if you like things a little spicy, three cloves of minced garlic, three diced scallions, and some chopped parsley ideally, but I definitely bought the wrong thing. I believe this is chives. I have no idea, but I mean it also works too, so it's fine. As long as it's green, we're good. Apart from coriander. I hate coriander. Ugh, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. Are you a coriander person? Let me know. If you are, we can be friends. No, I'm totally kidding, but oof, not a fan. Heat up a pan to medium heat and put some oil in it. Then you will want to start frying up the batter in batches for around five minutes on each side. Make sure to keep flipping it though, because you do not want it to burn. And that's it. Serve and enjoy. Okay, these smell divine. Oh, look who's here. Do you want to have a little sniff? Yummy? Yummy? I don't think he's into my meals. Is it a bit too vegan? This smells so, so good. I actually love zucchini fritters. Usually they're eaten with like a yogurt or a sour cream, but I'm going to have them with a little bit of chili sauce on the side. <laughs> it's gonna be like zucchini fritters with ocho hair on the side. Very steamy. Okay, this one's a bit softer. Mm, wow. Oh, that's good. Recommendation, cook them slightly longer to get them a little crispier. Mmm, zucchini fingers. But for real, it's so yummy. It's also very healthy considering all the ingredients are super clean, apart from the oil, obviously. But hey, you gotta live life a little. You gotta enjoy a little, don't you? Come on, jump, jump. Good boy. You know I messed up the parsley, but it really works with this. I believe these are chives. If they're not, I apologize. I'm not good with these green things, you know? If I have to recommend one recipe I've made on my channel so far, this is the one. And you can totally make yourself some vegan sour cream. I actually have a recipe for that. I will link that down below for you guys. Super delicious and requires only three ingredients actually, so you gotta make it. Mmm. Today was actually my mom's birthday, so for dinner we had reservations at a place called Happy. What a suitable name for such an occasion. I got myself a cheeky raspberry mojito, which, you know, tasted okay, a bit watery, but I dealt with it. Then for food I had a Corsica salad, which is basically hummus with a side salad of tomatoes, cucumbers, chickpeas, and so on. I also had some falafel balls with vegan garlic sauce and some guacamole with chips, which was pretty sexy, I'm not gonna lie. For dessert, we organized a little surprise for my mom and the staff sang happy birthday for her whilst they brought out a slice of their vegan bounty cake. I must say, this cake is so damn good. It tastes exactly like the bounty bar and it actually shocked me that it's vegan. Honestly, I questioned it a couple of times if it is vegan because it just blew my mind. I ate the whole thing and licked my plate clean. And that's pretty much my what I eat in a day. That's it. My cat's trying to come in. Hold up. He's scratching my door. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We had a really nice dinner and now I'm about to head to bed, but I'm gonna have some tea in my cat mug. And I'm also going to have this chocolate wafer as like a good night snack. Not that I didn't have a bounty cake, but we're not judging here, okay? We're all eating what we want in life. That's just how you should live your life, so. Mm-hmm, so good. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Right, baby? And we will see you next time. Bye. You want it? You can end the video. Paw on the camera. Here, here, okay. <laughs>